Hey there once again folks, welcome to another Train Simulator video. Today we are going to be checking out Central Jersey Railfans GP9 Sound Mod. Oh yes, listen to that. Alright, Central Jersey Railfan needs no introduction. He's done several mods. Uh, one of which, my favorite, the F40 um, 2 cat for New Jersey Transit, um, for the New Jersey Coastline. Uh, he made that one as well. I did a video of that if you want to go check that out as well. Um, just scroll down a bit. But anyway, this is his newest one. And I've got the info right here I'm looking at. Uh, basically, it's a mod for the 567 series. Uh, it's in beta, so it's not entirely finished, but it, from what I can tell right now, it sounds pretty darn good. Um, basically, it's going to install um, to just about every GP9 you can think of. There goes some Rock Island back there. Nice. Anyway, we're on Adriana County um, in just a quick scenario I loaded up here just to kind of check this thing out the sounds uh, anyway it applies to the RSC um, GP9 pack uh, if you're a American citizen and have access to that it'll apply to that also applies to the GP9 on Donner Pass um, the DNR GW SD9 I think I don't know if that's now or at some point I'll have to look further into that the F7 for the uh, the Great Northern Livery F7 Empire Builder, the sound will apply to that. Uh, Horseshoe Curve GP9, Soldier Summit GP9, and the GP9 that comes with the New Haven E33 pack. Uh, so as of right now, we get the 567 sounds, but I believe he's going to throw in the 645 uh, sounds as well. Both 16-cylinder, roughly the same engine. It's a little bit larger. Anyway, let's listen to these sounds, check this thing out. We'll do a little work. Put some load behind us. Run through the notches. All that good stuff. Alright, we gotta run to our stop point right there. That rock island just passed. Stick our head out the window for ample sound. Absorption. Man, that sounds good. I just want to slam it notch 8, but uh, try and do it by the book here to a degree. Alright, there's our first point right there. So anyway, yeah, this is available now. Um, he put it up on Train Sim Community, the mod website. I will throw a link underneath the video in the information section. If you would like to go and check that out, it's a fairly straightforward installation prog uh, process. From what I can remember, I think it was just drag and drop. Literally that easy. We, of course, are in a couple of CNWs right now. Very nice livery. And these are old. I mean, there's, there are paints out there. Uh, True Rail Simulation made a Southern Pacific GP9 um, that I can't believe I have not made a video of. I probably will at some point. That thing looks fantastic. The exterior on that has been uh, touched up quite a bit. But this is just the old RSC pack right here. Mm. 
All right, run back. Man, these sound good. So, not only is the sound different, but the RPM range uh, was changed from the original 330 to 900 to the correct 275 to 835 on the 567 equipped uh, engines, such as this one in the GP9. And that is reflected on the HUD as well. I, I've got the HUD kind of hidden. It's just my preference, but you might be able to barely make it out down there. Uh, as well as the fan railer um, physics have been applied to this pack as well, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it says that in the README document. Alright, where to next? Alrighty. Straight ahead. This thing sounds so nice. I can't wait to actually put it through the paces. To be fair, the, uh, the old GP9 and 567 sounds were never truly that terrible on the grand scale of you know default sounds that we got for a lot of the North American stock and train simulator I never thought this was uh, too terrible to be completely honest but this just takes it to a whole nother level whole new ball game a lot more reason to use these things more often Some nice, fine quality sounds added. That should be good enough right there. All right, Golden Eagle Bitumen. Blue these four cars right here. Let's go grab them. GP9s are so cool, they need no introduction either. They're iconic diesel American engines, some of the first ones. The first that were truly roadworthy. So it's it's pretty awesome that Central Jersey Rail Fan um, you know, gave these some love. This prime mover sound. And, oh man, that transition between the notches is pretty darn smooth. Grab us these tanks right here, out in the middle of the street, holding up traffic. Alright, you can pull forward via H5 and couple to the six covered hoppers. We'll, uh, we'll play conductor here. Alright. H5. So straight on through, it would appear.
Not to mention Adriana County, one of the coolest routes that we've got off the workshop. Freeware route, ton of local industry and switching opportunities. I would love to play this entire scenario out, but that won't be in this sitting, unfortunately. Just kind of want to check the sounds out here. So, this GP9 and this sound pack is a perfect fit for Adriana County. A little bit further. So that's a Govia. So we're going to run past and hook up to these covered hoppers. Just beyond us here. So what is that second switch? Indeed it is. Give her a little juice. Far enough, yes, it did. Thankfully, all right, let's back up here and grab these. Oh, we're getting some weight on her now. Need to take the consist H10 and drop it off. All right, so H3 is where we need to go here. It's a third switch. Check here, H10. All right, here we go. Give her a couple of notches more. There's four. Man, that light. What is that, the sun? Good lord, that's bright. Yeah, what the hell that is? The sun's not even up yet. Which the engine just went past. What we need. Oh man, the grunt of the uh, the 567 though. What a sound. Classic noise, and it sounds so good. I should have done a uh, a paired OG 567 sound versus this sound mod. So 
does. It is noticeably different. Far and above. Go ahead and shove it on back here. But I'm excited to see what else he does, because at, at, in the current state, you know, I am 1,000% completely fine with this. Sounds amazing, and it applies to a lot of different GP9s and units that had the 567 Prime Mover. Damn, listen to that, man. Try not to get too crazy here with the throttle. It's hard to do, though. All right, run around the train via Henderson Main and add the two center beams at H16 to the rear of the consist. All right, well, damn, I got to drop the cars off first. <laughs> got to jump in the gun. Couplers there, so they don't do that wacky reattach thing on their own. Oh, I missed that. How did I miss that? I wonder if I was supposed to go this way. Alright, go via. So I gotta run up. Run back. Alright, good deal. Good deal to Damn, these things sound so good. It's uncanny. Un freaking canny. Now, one thing I have noticed uh, when you're at idle, like right now, you'll hear, you don't hear a loop, but you'll hear like a crack or like a, a garble in the sound. Um, it's not terribly noticeable, but if you're sitting there constantly at idle, um, trying to listen for it, you will hear it. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't know if, if he can fix that. Um, but, uh, it's, it's the only thing so far I've noticed that's, that's kind of, I don't want to say off or, or bad. It's just not, uh, it's just something noticeable. All right, we'll do a little interior sound now. As mentioned earlier on, right now the sound is only applied to the GP9s. Um, he plans to add the Prime Mover sounds to the F7s as well. 
which would, uh, well, honestly, it'd be absolutely amazing, you know, two, two old, venerable American engines, uh, getting sound packs, like, that's amazing, it's fantastic. Two center beams. Bam. Bam. There we go. Let's go grab these. And it's nice, the sound um, differentiation between exterior and interior. Interior, it's not... It's not overpowering or terribly loud. It, it seems like there's more of a, a reverb. A little bit more of a bassy sound. But what a noise these things produced. Apparently, the file uh, from which these came um, is some some freeware uh, sounds from Open Rails, I think, by North American V Scale. Uh, so he took those and I guess scripted it um, himself for Train Simulator, uh, doing the proxy XMLs and all that technical stuff that I know zilch about. Alright, there we go. Alright. So it said couple to the front. There's no way. We're gonna have to run back there. So yeah, I didn't really I didn't really think this scenario through, if I'm honest. <laughs> but we're just here for the sounds. I do believe it's this guy here. Now, if I'm honest, I don't know if that horn comes with it. I, I think I downloaded a horn mod off Railworks America at some point. I'm not sure if this horn comes with it. If I'm completely honest. Man, that guttural, low sounding, kind of loped idle sounds so nice. So, so nice. Alright, back of H10.
It's such a nice gradual transition between notches. Regardless of my butter fingeredness on the uh, keyboards. Alright, we got an X there as well. I think I broke it, guys. Shocker. I think I broke it. That sun is coming. It's not waiting for me. Alright, reverse back once again. Alright, so it looks like once we couple up to the front of the entire consist, we'll be able to take off, thankfully. Because I want to hear this bad mamma jamma. You can kind of hear that crack in the sound um, if you're really paying attention. I'm not sure if you can hear it outside, though. Yeah, I don't think you can hear it outside. Alright, here's our first point. Alright, I think we are set to jet. Yeah, after sitting here listening to it idle, you can't really hear a loop or that, uh, that kind of staticky sound. That is just a really nice sound compared to what we had for these things. Night and day, yin and yang. Water and oil. Alright. The 
Let's charge up the pipes. Get the hell out of Dodge. Alright, so we're just going right up there. Want to hear this thing on a run by? Alright, you may begin your westbound pull, perform various line side switching. We're not going to be doing that. So that's alright. Give it one notch. Stretch out the knuckles. And then we'll goose it. the sound yeah we're speeding that's all right we're here for sounds just hope we don't derail all right here we go let's run it through the notches Do a uh, we'll do a run by real quick with Notch Eight screaming. Here, come out of the tunnel here. And interior. Alright, so there's notch seven. Six. Dude, it's so smooth. The transition. Very smooth. Buttery. Silky. Damn, I kinda like notch six. That's probably my uh, my favorite sound out of this pack. Alright, back at idle. But that's it, guys. Just wanted to kind of quickly show off uh, Central Jersey Rail Fan Sound Mod for the GP9s. Go and pick it up for yourself. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or would like to point anything out, um, go ahead and pop a comment down below. I'll throw the link where you can find this down below underneath the video as well. But uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.